I find that people here say Tila a lot, so I, I, I accept both. Oh, yeah, be loud. And the best part. Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I ask you a huge favor? What? Take take good care of my baby. Your baby, the Don Julio. Don Julio, seventy. <laughs> oh, my seventy favorite. years, like it's oh, in Bruins. Yes. Oh, Ooh. Yes. That's, that's my favorite. Vietnam serving breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Oh, okay. TV, you can check the channel. We have outdoor tables, indoor Wow. Tables. Okay. Oh. The cabana is there for rental, forty dollars per day. You can reserve those in advance. Oh, I feel like the weirdest part about being an adult is when they ask you for your emergency contact. Part of me is like, my grandma's always my emergency contact. But then again, she's all the way in North Carolina. She can't possibly be my emergency contact. Hey. Oh man! <laughs> Thank you so much. That was a pleasure, man. Enjoy. It's not a Tyla vacation without a glass of Prosecco. Cheers! Thumbnail. Still a fan, even though it's salty. Need to see you busting around the bend. Are you happy? Need to see you happy if I'm not the one driving. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. Hang with me and there. Guess they tell me there's a man. I just want a man. I just want you. What do we do when we're feeling sad? We buy flights to Cabo. So that's what I'm doing. And then I pack. I don't know why I packed all these clothes, child, because my bag was overweight and it was a three day trip. No excuse. But then I packed my skincare. I packed my makeup. You know, I had to prepare because this is a work trip, baby. We take in the content while we're there. It's a short flight away. And then I'm at the Cabo bar. I love that they have a bar in the airport. Then I go to my hotel and oh my god, y'all, this is the nicest resort I've ever been at. I literally felt like I was in White Lotus. They upgraded my room for free. So I had this huge suite all to myself overlooking the beach, two balconies. I was literally so grateful. My heart was so full. And then I went to dinner. And this was like a Mediterranean Mexican place. And some guy comes around with Clase Azul and gives me a shot. It was so yummy. That's good. It's like sweet. Then I just finish my dinner and then I go get high and take pics. I'm so happy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tyler Gomez and I'm in Cabo. I decided to take a little solo trip to Cabo and y'all, I'm so happy. I am not crying. I cried a little bit yesterday, but I'm not crying. Lashes in my eye. I just feel so 
so grateful, so deserving, so overwhelmed with just like happiness. And I think there's like a lot of magic in just seeing new things. Like I think our brains need to see new things and need to have new experiences. I think it's like vital for creativity and just like overall happiness and well-being. Like I genuinely believe that. And this is my first vacation of 2023. Yes, we're almost like halfway done with the year. I guess you can count Coachella, but Coachella was more of a work binge party trip. Like this is a vacation and I'm just so happy. Like the resort I'm staying at is absolutely gorgeous and they gave me a free upgrade. Like not gonna lie, this was super last minute. Like I've been telling people I want to go to Tulum. I want to go to Tulum. Like I was even thinking about trying to get people to go with me and ultimately it was just like one too far away too much logistics um and like my manager lives in tulum and was like i don't know there's a new cartel in it i don't know it was just like signs were pointing away from tulum but cabo is la's next door neighbor and it's only a two-hour flight i've already been so i feel comfortable in the area and yeah i don't know it was this thursday like may 18th and now it's may 21st i was literally just like let's just look let's just look at the prices and the prices were good so i booked like and you know everyone's always telling you like you got a plan you got a plan you got a plan and most times you do but i got this deal one I didn't want to come on a weekend. I wanted to come during the work week. Like I'm coming Sunday through Wednesday. So it's not as busy as if I were to do like Thursday to Sunday. But since I booked so last minute, they gave me like half off because it was like a last minute deal. And with this resort, you can book your air travel too, which I thought just made it so much easier. Like resort and hotel, like, okay, that's done. And then since it's all inclusive, I don't really got to worry about any other expenses. And normally I ain't even going to hold you. When I go on a trip, I end up spending like a thousand dollars on food alone. Like last time I was in Cabo, that's what we did. Like we were going to some of the nicest restaurants, so I'm not mad about it. Like it was the best restaurants. If you're interested in the Cabo trip I did before, I'll link it above. It was for my friend's birthday back in October. It was a lot of fun. And that's like, I fell in love with Cabo. Fell in love with the pictures I got. Like I got the best content in Cabo. Oh my God. The robe in the back. Tell me why it looked like a person. I'm not okay. But yeah, I just want to, you know, enjoy the fruits of my labor while they're so ripe. Um, that's a little Wayne lyric. But I just want to like see some new shit, like get inspired creatively, just be in a warm, beachy place. Y'all, LA has been so cold. Like I stepped on my balcony, so I was just sitting out there like journaling and whatnot. And I was fully prepared for it to be cold. And I was like, I'm gonna be shivering. I will have to just, it'll be okay. It's so warm. It's so warm. Like LA has been so, like the, well, the weather in LA has been kind of shitty, but also it's like LA isn't a hot place. Like it's not tropical. Like LA is hot in the middle of the day and that's it like it's cold at night it's cold in the morning and that's cool i normally don't mind but it's just so nice like being engulfed in the warmth of the earth like it's like the earth is hugging you but anyways the plan for today is i'm gonna go to the gym i got all my workout outfit i want to just go to the gym do a little one two maybe walk on the beach maybe get a drink uh -oh. No, but I like agreed to go to this like breakfast presentation. I think it's about some timeshare shit and I'll probably just vlog on my phone and then maybe the next day I'll take y'all, but bye. Bye.
Day two in Cabo. So I was on a mission to be one of those girlies who works out on vacation. And honestly, the bikini pics were motivating me. So yeah, I did it. And then I took some pictures. Y'all tell me how I got roped into a timeshare presentation. Also, best chilaquiles of my life. It made the presentation a little bit worth it. But honestly, the timeshare presentation was just like too much. I kept saying, no, I need to think about it. But they were trying to pressure me into like signing up. And I'm like, y'all keep feeding me drinks. Like, no. So I was just thinking about how I'm gonna have to complain to man management about this but then i went up to the sky pool and it's at the top of this freaking mountain it's so cool literally all the seats were taken but this older black woman helped me and she was so sweet she was like hey seats open next to me so i was just living my best life met some new friends in the pool look at the light it was just so fun y'all i was like living my best life then i realized i lost my tripod and i was really sad because i wanted to take pics i still took pics but then I got back sad about losing my tripod. I don't know why I was crying. But um, the lady from the pool invited me to dinner with her family. And it was just so nice. About to go skydiving. I'm so excited. It's indoor skydiving. But I'm still so excited. So here's a little fit check. Then I headed to the skydiving station. And oh my god, y'all. I don't know what I was expecting. But it really wasn't this. So this is kind of like the opposite of skydiving. Because instead of just jumping out of something and diving to the ground. The wind is just pushing you up. And oh my god. It's such a workout to stay up. Um, Look at this guy though. This guy is one of the instructors. And he was so good at it. I was not doing all that. But I will say... They let me go a few times, and when I went with the instructor, it was way more fun than going alone. Had a quesadilla and some beans. Then I went to Radio Shack. I bought a new tripod. I was so satisfied with myself for, like, problem solving. Then I went to the beach. After my horrible timeshare experience, they gave me a cabana for free. Um, and then they also gave me a free massage. This is why y'all gotta complain. When shit don't go right, complain, 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 Okay. Then I came back and looked for a picture spot and I got this dope picture spot. I was so happy with how they turned out. Look at me happy. Then I went back to the beach and oh my God, this was just so nice. I was eating wings, drinking a pina colada. I feel like this is peak existence, like just on a beach chilling. Then I washed off and I met this really lovely couple at the pool. We ended up just talking, drinking, I even went up to my room to grab some buds so we could all smoke on the beach and it was just a vibe. Then I got ready for dinner and I had sushi and that was it. It is that dreadful day that happens to be my last day in Cabo. Well, technically yesterday was my last full day, but today I must depart, which is really sad. You know, it's kind of crazy because I came on this trip to cure my depression or at least like make me forget about it. And I for sure did, but I forgot that I get post vacation depression too. So here's a sign that you cannot run away from your problems what is that oh my god the toilet's so loud what's that solange song i tried to sleep it away i don't know it's just crazy because i want it to go to cabo and then like i want it to want to come back but i think the trip was too short that like i'm not i'm not missing it yet you know there's like a time period of trips and I think it's so funny I met so many different people I love solo traveling like I'm sorry friends but I don't see myself <laughs> traveling with friends I'm just kidding no I just love solo traveling like I met so many different people different couples but it was just like why is this toilet so freaking loud it's just interesting seeing how different people lived there's a lot of people from Washington, people from Canada. I met some people from Atlanta, the Bay. Like, I just met so many people. And of course you can meet people when like you're not solo traveling, but I think you're just less inclined to. Like you have your people, you're less inclined to actually have as long of conversations. Like I smoked with this couple on the beach. The girl was so cool. Honestly, the couple was really cool. And it was just interesting. Like, this guy sells machines for a living. Who do I know who sells machines for a living? So it's like I met people I would have never crossed paths with anyway. And of course, like, I was the influencer at the resort. So everyone saw me lugging around my tripod. And, like, no one was, like, rude about it. 
I will say I got a little frustrated. It was like 3 p.m. yesterday and I was trying to get this picture. I was trying so hard to get this picture of me in this Aritzia dress and it just wasn't working out like the light was too harsh or it was like just not acting right and i was getting tired my titties were sweating it was just i was getting to be in a bad mood because i love taking pictures i'm having a good time but if it's not working out it's really frustrating and it's like where do i need to go i'm in these hills i'm all dressed up and like obviously people are looking at me and I normally don't mind when people are looking at me, but it's like I was already getting flustered because I couldn't get the pictures right. So then like having to deal with and manage other people's emotions of, oh, look, hi. Oh, my God. Hi. Like that's one thing. Oh, my God. Not another bruise. Dude, I have so many bruises on my body. But I just realized with this solo trip, I don't really like being responsible for anyone's feelings other than my own. And I think with a lot of relationships, and there's nothing wrong with this, there's nothing wrong with this, you kind of have to assuage people's emotions sometimes and you have to like placate them and you have to just like spend energy making sure the people around you are okay. And that's like fine, whatever. I don't mind doing it. I'm a social person. But sometimes it's nice to not have to do that for others especially like more sensitive people who need a lot of reassurance like sometimes it's nice to just be responsible for your emotions and i have a lot of emotions so it's like i can only handle being responsible for my emotions right now like i love not having to check in about what we're doing with anyone i love no one rushing me i love not waiting on anyone like and this isn't a surprise like growing up i would always get feedback from my teacher like she doesn't play well with others like she prefers to be individual like she doesn't like group work like things like that so it's funny seeing it how it plays out as an adult who works for and by themselves who has a limited group of friends and who enjoys traveling solo and just doing things solo in general I'd love to do a sit down video on just how to travel solo, ins and outs, maybe Q and A, because I just know a lot of people have questions about it and it's apparently this fascinating topic. Maybe I'll post that on my Instagram and I'll answer like while I'm at the airport because I'm gonna get there crazy early. But I think like, it's kind of it's kind of like any new thing, you know, before I had solo traveled, I thought it was very fascinating and interesting and I didn't understand it. So I think other people are there in their journey with it. So I'd love to answer questions and just like let people know how it is. I think a lot of people walk around life with this like fear and like I'm an anxious person too, but the buck stops with like, I'm not gonna let my anxiety get in the way of me having a good time, you know? So it's like, I always tell this to my friends. It was honestly like something I said in college a lot. And it's like I'm refinding that part of myself and I'm realizing why I was so unhappy that like for some of this year in LA, I'd rather be scared than bored. Like, yes, I can be safe in my house, never leaving. I'm so safe, but I'm bored out of my mind. I'd rather be in a foreign country driving <laughs> down roads I don't know, trying to get to Radio Shop so I can buy a new freaking tripod. I'd rather be scared than bored anytime. And granted, this trip wasn't very scary. I stayed at a luxury resort. I felt entirely safe the whole time. But the only time I felt a little uneasy was when I went indoor skydiving yesterday and I had to get there early and I think it was like before I really wish I, I hope I got a clip on it on my phone it was before it opened so it just looked kind of sketchy but like okay so the taxi dropped me off and it was this like walkway that you walk down and then you get to the marina and it's all these boats all these shops it's so lovely on the other side but you have to walk through this narrow stretch. Of course, I could have walked around the whole building, but it was like, you just walk down this narrow stretch and you'll get there. But on the left of the narrow stretch were these like, honestly, like little stands, probably like they were selling jewelry, food, but they were all closed. So it just looked kind of sketchy because closed shacks just look uninviting. So it just looked a little sketchy. And I was just like, 
I don't know. Like, he was like, yep, here's where you get off. And it was just like, I don't know. It was just a little sketchy. But it wasn't that bad because everyone was nice and it was chill. It was just like a little, a little frightening. And I feel like it's because people put fear into my heart. Like, that's another thing with telling people your plans and stuff. Like, I don't know. I just hate when people like put fear in my heart. Like, I've thought about all the possibilities. Like, I've thought about it all. So why are you putting your fear on my heart? Like, I've already gotten past my fear. Don't try to put more in me. And y'all might think I'm a bitch for this, but I was just, I don't know. Somebody, <laughs> somebody told me to be safe. And that's not a bad thing. And I know it's because I'm about to start my period. I'm a little just more irritated in general with like everyone. Um, but I just don't like when people say be safe. Okay, I was going to be safe anyway. Like, it's just so much better to say like enjoy your trip have a good time but like be safe i was gonna do that anyway like why are you telling me to be safe don't tell me what to do um <laughs> but i know sometimes it's just like people don't know what else to say that's the thing people say so i like that's me checking myself and knowing don't read into this too much tyla it's just the thing people say but i wish people would say other things so that's why i'm saying it in this video if someone's going on a trip just tell them to have a good time and to enjoy themselves like it was just so funny because i got where's my powder because i got those messages like pretty not back to back but like within an hour of each other and it was just so interesting to clock how the be careful text made me feel versus the enjoy your trip made me feel like or safe travels like i don't know that sounds fine safe travel sounds fine but be safe or be careful be careful just as like what okay like duh like i'm i was not gonna be careful but now that you said be, you know what i'm gonna I'm a be careful because you said to be careful i don't know it's just like <laughs> this is me just being extra so don't read into it, but maybe someone gets it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe someone gets what I'm putting down. Cause today is unfortunately the last day. I'm actually getting ready to go to the airport, but I'm such a content monster. I really want to take some content before I go. Like I want to do a little Target haul in my room and I really want to take a couple more pictures in my silver bikini just around the resort so yeah I'm, this is a working trip and i honestly really want to start doing like more travel content so i'm like really trying to use this to build up like a portfolio you know so yeah and I just like it. Like, I just feel so much more. Is it crooked? Like, what is going on? Focus on me. I just feel so inspired to take content, too. Like, I don't know. In L.A., I just, I love L.A. Don't get me wrong. But I think I'm just, like, kind of tired of it. And I just needed a break. So, it's just been so nice to be here. Like, I feel motivated to take pictures. I see spots. I'm like, oh, a cute picture can be taken there. In L.A., it's kind of like. I don't know i don't feel that inspiration as much because it's just so beautiful oh my god it's so weird putting on makeup to go to the airport but gotta get these pics off you know going in with the nipia this is a little get ready with me in cabo get ready with me while i rant about people telling me to be safe no but the thing with like solo traveling is like i got so many questions about like where's your boyfriend and i'm like if i get one more question about where my boyfriend is i'm gonna make up a story about how we had this trip planned for months and then he died suddenly last week and then i'm gonna start crying because it's it's still so soon and all this stuff just to teach people stop being nosy stop asking people questions they don't want to answer like what if i just broke up with somebody like why are you asking that or the truth i'm aggressively single and now i'm thinking about that <laughs> i'm aggressively single that's the truth you know <laughs> but i'm honestly 
I am ready for love, but I'm not ready to settle. So I'm like having a great time. And the fact that y'all, y'all don't understand. For the longest time, the nicest hotel I had ever been in was one that a guy had bought or like a guy had paid for us on a vacation, whatever. The fact that this is now the nicest hotel I've stayed in and I paid for it all with my money from my little TikToks. That feels so good. Hold on, let me put on this robe. <sighs> Much better. Now my titties aren't popping out. <laughs> At this point it's like hard for me to even like guys so i would feel like my main thing is like do i like you as a person because so many people i don't know i think i'm just at that age where i'm old and crotchety <laughs> it's so funny i was talking to my biological dad about how he gave me daddy issues because i don't like men and he was like no that's not daddy issues i did give it to you but like that's just because we don't like people and obviously, at the time, I was not ready to hear that because what the fuck, nigga? Not you trying to escape responsibility for these daddy issues you gave me. But also, yeah, but then I grew up a little bit. This was like two, three years ago. And I guess as time has gone on, I've realized, yeah, I kind of just don't really like people that much. I don't know. It's so confusing because sometimes I'm just like, I love people. I love like how everyone has their little quirks and how everyone is just so different. And like that really is just interesting to me. But then like the flip switches and I'm like, everyone's dumb. I don't actually care about. <laughs> I don't know. I go back and forth. I go back and forth. I do think humans are interesting though. And some people are just more interesting than others. I think I'm just at the place where I get bored easily. I sound like I'm 50, but I'm 24, thinking I have it all figured out. I'm just rambling. Probably sound like a massive bitch, but that's just me. That's Those are my thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup, skincare, toiletries in my bag. It's crunch time. I want to do this little Target haul. Fuck, everything's falling. I wanna do this little Target haul before I go and I also want to do a photo shoot and I also want to eat chilaquilas because the chilaquilas are so good here and that's my favorite breakfast ever okay so it's kind of dark right here I'm gonna turn on this light